Morning. If you are just waking up in the U.S., you can go back to bed. This is not about anything that you need if you're in the U.S. This is specifically for companies that are outside the U.S. If you're a medical device manufacturer that's in Europe, when you import products into the U.S., one of the things that you need to do is you need to have a U.S. agent. A lot of people aren't familiar with what the U.S. agent does. What, what is this person responsible for? In Europe, we have an EU authorized representative. We have a UK responsible person. We have a Swiss responsible person. This is very similar to those roles. You need a person that's physically located in the US that will be the person that the FDA can contact if they can't get a hold of the manufacturer. So they, this would apply to anybody that's registered on the FDA website. If you're a manufacturer, if you're a contract manufacturer, if you're a specifications developer, all those companies need to be registered on the FDA um, registration database. Um, and that company needs to have a U.S. contact, somebody that's located in the U.S. If you have a U.S. subsidiary, it could be somebody at that U.S. subsidiary. But if you're a smaller company and you don't have a U.S. subsidiary, you could use a distributor, but the distributor might not be the person that you want communicating directly with the FDA. You might want somebody that actually knows something about the regulations and is familiar with all the requirements of an FDA inspection and can prepare you. So if you're located, let's say in the Netherlands and you're importing a medical device to the US, when it hits customs, if you're not registered with the FDA in their establishment registration database, your product won't get through customs and they're going to they're going to want to contact somebody but they need a us agent if there was anything wrong with your product there was some damage if they had a question about how it was labeled they're going to contact the us agent so you need to be in that establishment registration database and there has to be what it'll normally be is the company contact information the official correspondent for the company and your us agent con uh, contact information it's just a name, address, and email, um, also the phone number. So name, address, email, phone number. And you could have that person also be the official correspondent for the FDA. Um, it just it matters how much information do you want to be getting directly from the FDA versus having somebody communicate it to you. If you don't speak English, this would definitely be important to have somebody that speaks English, that is comfortable speaking with the FDA, knows what they're looking for and why, and will communicate the right information to the FDA. That's all they do. They just communicate. And it's all by email. It would be very, very rare for them to actually call somebody, and they would only do it because they're not having any luck getting the email to you. So it's important you pick somebody that knows the regulations, is located in the U.S. You want to verify that, not somebody that, oh, I have a mailboxes, et cetera, somewhere in the U.S. You need an actual physical address in the U.S., and you have to be available to the FDA and know what to communicate to them. So it would be helpful if it was somebody that knew about your 510K, knew about um, what your device does, what the three-letter product code is, how it's labeled, what's on the label, what's in the instruction for use, what market is this product for, what customers should it be shipping to? Should it be shipping directly to a hospital? Should it be shipping to um, doctors, uh, cosmetic surgeons? Where should it be shipping? So it's just a communication role. The, the person doesn't have to um, chat the FDA up and, and have long dialogues with them. They just want a simple piece of information. They want to know who to contact, where to get that information. They want it efficiently. So that's what you're looking for in a U.S. agent. All they do is respond by email to the FDA and forward the communication by email to the customer. I hope that explains what a U.S. agent is for you. And if you're looking for information on a U.S. agent, down below I have a link for our website. We're publishing a, a blog today about what a U.S. agent does. Uh, we're going to explain, you know, what is a U.S. agent and why do you need one? And also, we have a contact information link in our, for our website. So if you want to contact us, um, there's a video giving you my WhatsApp information. It's 1-802-258-1881. Um, that goes right to my cell phone. That's my WhatsApp 
uh, number and my mobile number. You can text me um, through WhatsApp or you can give me a call. A lot of times I'm up at 6 a.m. like today. So if you have something urgent and you need to get a hold of me, go right ahead. And I'm usually up late at night too. I hope that helps. And uh, please let me know what you think down below with the comments. And if it, you know somebody else that needs a U.S. agent, forward this link on to them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.